good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast. And I just want to say before I get started with this video, happy Mother's Day to every mother watching. You are appreciated. All that good stuff. I hope y'all have a great day. Um, now, breaking news. Clearly, I'm outside. That's for a good reason, you know, because I'd rather be in front of the, uh, the, uh, the fireplace. But there's a lot of cars out here. Um, I have a lot of family here. We're having an event for Mother's Day, a little get together. So, you know, I couldn't do it inside. It was too much. It was too much noise. It was way too much noise. But breaking news. Not only is Jackson State in the top 11 for five-star defensive lineman, James Smith of the class of 2023, the beast that that kid is. Oh, no, no. Eddie Robinson Jr. in Alabama State. Oh, he right in the thick of things, too. They doing stuff. Alabama State and JSU are the two HBCUs that are in the top 11 for five-star defensive lineman James Smith. And they are competing against high, I mean, big-time uh, big time schools like Alabama, Georgia, all of that. They're in that top 11. So, listen, James Smith is an absolute beast at 6'4", 300 pounds. That kid has been making plays since he was a freshman, all right? He was at Carver High School. He's now at IMG Academy. If you know anything about IMG Academy, you know that they take the best of all these smaller schools um, around the nation, and, you know, they turn them into this little D1 factory that they do. Um, they, they they really develop these kids and, you know, get them to Power 5, so even though those kids probably would have went Power 5 regardless. Now, as far as James goes, man, He's been making plays as a freshman, as I said. The kid flashes just tremendous talent in the run and pass rush game. Um, that's something that he's just tremendous in. His size is college ready right now. He's not just big. He's not just a gap stuffer, right? He really is fast. His hands fast. Pass rushing, to me, is where I love him at. He's deadly as a defensive tackle in that pass rushing position. Oh, and guess what? He can play multiple schemes. If you want to put him in that three technique, do that. For do that. He can play. He can you can put him in multiple schemes. This kid is very versatile. He's very versatile. And he's been doing this since his freshman year. Now, what's gonna be interesting is to see where he goes, right? Maybe he ignores both HBCUs and he goes to a power five. Maybe that's still a great it's still a great chance, right? But him putting two HBCUs in this top 11 means a lot. It means that change is coming and that we need to be prepared for it, right? And I just love this. I love that it's not just Jackson State uh, that's in contention for these recruits or FAMU. I love that Alabama State is really doing it. I love it. So let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. Um, I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put his highlights in this video. I ain't gonna cheat y'all with that. I'll put his highlights up in this video, but just know, Anybody who gets this kid is getting a game changer. I'm talking about the, just the, the the gifts of Marcel Darius, right? With the with the the speed of Aaron Donald. Like this this kid is just athletic. At 6'4", 300 pounds, he's an athletic freak. I don't know who to describe him as. I can't even say who he who his play reminds me of. I just know he's an uber athletic individual who will fit great with any defense, right? But with that being said, you're watching the CFL podcast. I'm gonna let y'all get back to it. I'm gonna get back to it. Um, I'm out. Peace.